So this unity gain shows that it is a common emitter. It is an emitter followed circuit. So the speciality of uh, uh, emitter followed is unity gain. The voltage gain is one. The current gain is large. Since we don't have any voltage gain, we are not going to use this amplifier as a practical amplifier because all signals are voltage in nature. So since it is not going to amplify your voltage signals, this amplifier is not used as an amplifier in conventional circuits. Okay. Now input resistance without feedback. At the input side, you see what resistance is there. RS and HIE. The same current flowing through RS is flowing through HIE. So when same current is going to flow, the resistance are in series. When resistance are in series, you have to add. So RIE equal to RS plus HIE. RIE equal to RS plus HIE. For an voltage series feedback, the input resistance will increase after applying feedback. So I can write RIF equal to RIE into D. RIE is RS plus HIE. D value, D we have simplified and had this. So this RS plus HIE will be cancelled. Sir, and the I, which, uh, I, I can explain one more, sir. Which one? H, I, E, sir. Last page. That's sir. That's it, sir. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. HIE on the it is the input impedance of an amplifier. All amplifier me you will be having HIE. H in the common emitter on the HIE common base on the you will be having HIC called HIB common culture now you will be having HIC. Since okay. we are considering the H parameter model for common emitter amplifier, so input side you will have this HIE default in the see this HIE and the current source will be coming default for common emitter amplifier. Other things we are going to connect it externally. Okay, sir. Okay. So if you don't connect RS also, only your RI will be equal to HIE. Since you are connecting an voltage source in series with RS, in RS plus HIE or the okay, well, then only HIE will come in your uh, expression for RI. And okay. finding out R I F equal to R I into D, R I you know substitute here. So this D will get cancelled. So in the terms will get cancelled. So you can see. Already we have seen that is HFE into RE is a very huge number. So you can see RIF is increasing. So logically it is working. See, uh, again again I say whatever we have studied theoretically, we are proving it mathematically. Voltage series feedback, we said that the input resistance is increasing. We are proving it here by uh, formula and we are also finding the expression also says that the input resistance is increasing. So there is no deviation so what we are studying in the theory is going to match well in the practical case also input resistance will be very very easy for all circuits mostly rs plus hie na varum vera different case la undi da maru me thavara rs plus hie output resistance is very very tricky so can anybody say what is the output resistance or not R naught is without your load. So R C in here. So I am not considering this part of circuit at all. So I am I am going to exclude this part of circuit and I am going to find R naught. So in the circuit exclude for now. What is remaining in the output side? What is remaining in the output side? If I exclude R C and R E, what remaining in the output side? What is remaining in the output side? I have only the current source, correct? What is the resistance of current source I told you? What is the resistance of current source? What is the resistance of current source? Please, I, I need answer. What is the resistance of current source? I have been saying this repeatedly for a long time. Resistance of current source is infinity. So my R0 is infinity. Since R0 is infinity, R0 F is also infinity. So very simple. Anybody is having doubts? Anybody is having doubt in the thing? Output resistance, you have to remove the load. So if you remove RC, you have only current source and the resistance RE. The resistance of current source is infinity. Infinity plus RE will be infinity. So R0 is infinity and R0 F is infinity. 